comiéndote a otra, pero está pensando en mí. Guys, that song is my jam. Look at these two besties in front of me. They're like two older besties. Oh, they like were like, thanks, because I let them pass. We are in line at Starbucks because I need some fuel. I was thinking about it and I actually do have a lot of things to do right now. I have to go get my router and stuff from Spectrum. Who knows how that's gonna go because I've never had Spectrum Wi-Fi. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, this lady's crazy. What the freak? Jeez. So I'm gonna go pick up the stuff for that right now, which is about 15 minutes away. After that, I wanna come back and maybe go to, well, last time I was in World Market, I was on a strict budget because I was moving and I had a lot of expenses and I didn't really wanna buy anything. But today, we're not gonna go all out, but we can definitely go a little out. But yeah, Sunny, my gray cat, if you guys don't know, he is the one that's very emo. He's terrified of the new place, I don't know why. He's literally hiding in my shower and he won't come out he doesn't even want to eat so if you guys have any tips on how to make a cat more comfortable at their new home let me know i'm gonna stop by PetSmart to see if they have like those cat calming pheromone collars or whatever that i saw let's order i'm great what can i get for you you know what gives me the ick when i'm editing this and i listen back to how i sound when i order I get really cringe about myself. I don't know why. Because I feel like I make my voice really high pitch. It's my customer service voice. It's my trying to spread positivity, trying to be a nice customer voice. But the progress is good at the apartment. I just feel like I've been in there so much and I feel like the whole vlog is, has been in the apartment for the past couple days. So I wanna stick it out, girly. We're out, we're getting Starbies. While we're waiting for my drink, let me show you guys a little bit of my favorite songs right now. If I get demonetized, it is what it is. They need me to go, but I don't wanna leave. Rest in peace, little kid. Fuck a pigeonhole, I'm a night out, it's a different mode. I'ma have to make a pan of six on a pinky toe. All good love in a minute though. This song is not new, it's old, but I am. Oh, that song slaps! Another old song that I'm living for right now. All you ain't say it was moving forward. Honesty hooks when you get older. I gotta say I miss the way you need me. It's a little hot in here. Really excited to finally have internet. But look what else I got. Crumble cookies. I've never actually been to a crumble cookies. They gave me two churro. That's this like swirly one. This one is a chilled pink sugar cookie, I think. And then this one over here is like a blueberry something. I love blueberry. But she gave me the two churro ones on accident because I actually ordered two pink ones. So she just gave me the other pink one for free. Since we have an extra one, I figure we do a little taste. We're just giving uh, pink vibes today. I really like this little shopping center. I've never been here before. It's kind of far from where I live. Not far, but like a little far. So it's chilled, it's a little cold, but I think it's just a pink sugar cookie. Oh my God, this hair is in my way. And I'm mad because I finished my drink. I knew I should have got a venti. I never finish a venti, so I got a grande. And why is it the one time that I actually needed a venti? Okay, ready? Cheers, besties. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. I have to save the rest of that for later because it's bomb, but it's really sugary. And I'm mad. I wish I had water. Tell me if you're this way. When I eat something sweet, like cookies, I need to have a side of water. And I'm mad I didn't get one when I was there. Let me see if I can find a good home goods around here. Home goods, girl. Where is the nearest home goods? I'll just go to the one I typically go to. 13 minutes. That's a lot. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you at Home Goods, friends. I'm blind. 
side note why are men so not self-aware that they're terrifying and that they frighten women like why are they that way don't ignore my little alfalfa hair going on i'm sitting in my car alone first of all i had to park like way in the boonies because this place is packed obviously so i had to park way in the back and this older man who's like putting like signs you know when people put business cards on your window like when when they're like circling the parking lot instead of just skipping my car because clearly i had just gotten in it he comes up to my window and is like trying to chat and is like asking me if i want the card for someone's tax services no sir get away i was like no thank you like leave me alone and that's the thing is like don't be afraid to be rude because i'm very like i don't want to be rude to people I've heard too many podcasts and i've seen too many movies to be dealing with men's nonsense okay i just have one thing to say my body shape like genie booty dreamy waist is teeny yes i told him to get titles so he streamy when he leave me i'm the alpha the omega everything in between eat a barbie ass or something on my way to target because guess who ripped off their whole nail on their thumb it's the other one i'm not going to show you because some people get triggered but my entire nail came off the fake nail my real nail just ripped right out and you want to know how because tesla thinks they're cute with their little door handles making them all funky i pushed in oh, let me not show you i pushed in to get the handle out went like that and i pulled the door with me whole thumbnail came off for research purposes, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So when you open the car door, it's like that. So I did that, went like this, with my thumb still in there, went like that, and then, and it was gone. So, in case you wanted to know. I was bleeding in the parking lot at PetSmart. So, now I'm on my way to Target. I had to place a drive up order for some non-stick gauze, some tape, some freaking antiseptic. I literally had to Google how to take care of your finger when you rip your whole nail off. Well, anyways, that's all, bye. Who the fuck gave me the evil eye? <laughs> I was having such a good day. Ended up going to PetSmart, got everything that I needed to get, and I was leaving and my phone dies. And I don't have my Tesla key with me. I use my phone. So I'm literally locked out of my car. Thank God I had a little portable charger. This that I got for like $5 in the Target bullseye section. Don't tell me my purchases aren't necessary because if it weren't for this, I would have it would have been 10 times worse. Anyway, I was able to use this to charge my phone and turn it on. It turns on and I'm in such a rush to get in my car because I'm excited that I'm opening the door handle, I'm getting in and my thumb gets stuck. In the blink of an eye, I was like, ouch. Oh my God, it's fitting the vibe perfectly. It kind of looks like rattan, but it's not. It's cat scratcher. Look at this guy. You like it? He loves it. He's already gone over there like five times and scratched it. It has that little ball, so that's cool. He loves it. Oh my goodness. I like it because it has two holes. So since I have two cats, if Sunny ever decides to come out and play, he'll have a little house too. But super cute. It also has a pad on top, which I didn't realize. So he was laying up there earlier and playing with my tree because he loves to mess with this tree, you guys. One thing about Storm, he's going to mess with everything he shouldn't be. So he loves to mess with this tree, which is fine. This tree was like 40 bucks from Ikea. It's a faux olive tree if you guys are interested. But yeah, this little cat house, I got it at Home Goods. It was $29.99, so I feel like not bad. And I like it because you don't have to hide it. It looks so cute. It looks like decor almost. Are you tired? Stormy. Oh, my stormy baby. So what I need to do now is I want to, instead of always having the blinds down, I want to just be able to have curtains. So I did hang up the curtains in the room right there, if you guys can see. I hung them up there, but those curtains are way too long for 
what I wanted to use them for. So I think I'm just gonna move the rod over here once I put more of those little sticky bar holder things that I got on Amazon. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever. Or is there some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. Then that's where she'll go. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think because the blinds are still there, but since I'm renting, I can't remove them. But overall, I think it looks cute. So, this is what we're working with. <laughs> I went to Target and got like a finger injury kit because I came with everything. Well, I didn't come with gauze, so I had that separately, but it came with everything. And I did this because I've already smacked it on so many things because I forget. So I'm hoping with this extraness, there's no way I'll be able to forget that I hurt my thumb. Because believe it or not, when I get stoned, even not when I'm smoking, like I just feel like I forget. Like I start doing things and then I like reach to grab something and I'm like, my soul leaves my body. But anyway, this is what we're working with for now. Whoever's giving me the evil eye, karma's gonna get your ass. So you better stop. You better stop being a hater. I need to set up my internet. <laughs> I'm really happy with how the place is coming out. Let me turn this brightness down. Or do you guys like the brightness? I don't know. Ignore my laundry in the back that I have to do. We are gonna set up the Wi-Fi. The important things, you know? And then tomorrow, I really wanna go get a car wash, so maybe we'll go get a car wash tomorrow. The Tessie's first car wash. I uh, need to clean the inside more than anything. I really need to clean the inside. I also wanna buy like a little robot vacuum or something that I can use to vacuum things. <laughs> I literally like zoned out right now. I was just like in another universe, just thinking about, I don't know what. I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, stuff that I got at TJ Maxx, I got these moisturizing foot masks. I love these. I have uh, used the moisturizing ones before and I've used the exfoliating ones, which I think are like in a green packaging, but really good. Just some basic moisturizing foot masks, $4.99 for a set of three pairs. Then clearly my feet need TLC because then I got a sleep overnight foot treatment, wild lavender for a restful night, calms and pampers, soothes overworked feet, listen. One thing about me, I'm gonna have overworked feet. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. It smells really good. It just smells like lavender, which I love lavender for nighttime. I got this really aesthetic looking room spray in the scent Oslo Fur and Azonic by I think the brand is called Northern Lights. That's what it looks like. Really nice like frosted glass bottle with a black top. It smells like a sexy man. It has like that uh, masculine, what is it? Um, like mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. Mm, but with a little bit of like Dior Sauvage. I'm not kidding. This stuff smells really, really good. I'm obsessed and always have to have a room spray on hand because why? Because I have pets. More than anything because I have pets. And since my nails are growing out, funny how I got this before I ripped my whole freaking thumb nail off. I got tip remover. <laughs> it's basically just 100% pure acetone. It's like a soak off so I can soak off my gel -X. And it's because I hate being at the salon for so long. It takes so long for them to soak them off and da 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 da. So I like to just soak them at home and I haven't done that in a while. I've been getting it done at the salon and I hate it. it takes up a lot of unnecessary time. So, got some of this. I'm gonna be in there like, do I get a discount because you can only do nine fingers? I'm kidding, by the way, but I just like to make my little like dad jokes, you know? Oh, then I got Luna this bone. 
it's a toy but i've gotten her these before and she loves them it just again keeps her occupied gives her something to chew on she loves these they have like flavoring in them yeah got her one of these at target i got the paint so we can paint that pot we'll probably do it in the next vlog because i'm tired but we're gonna for sure do that little diy on the uh, big vase that i got from home goods i got this wreath holder so i can put my wreath up basic this is my hearth in hand and it was 9.99 i just got it because i was going to use a command hook but figured i'd just get a wreath one that's like more reusable from the dollar section i saw this really cute ceramic tray this is honestly really cute for like a cat food bowl if you think about it because it just looks really cute and it was three dollars i love the green color for the spring it just has that like freckled with white this pimple in between my eyebrows oh my god she's huge also in the dollar section i got this glass citrus juicer isn't this so pretty? $3. Really cute. Put a lime on there. Make some fresh lime juice. Oh my god. Love that. And I don't have one of these. So perfect. Then I think the last thing that I got from Target was just this brush. I got this because when I want to do like a slick back ponytail. Not like I ever do. But if I wanted to. I need a brush like this that's really like dense. So it can really like slick back all of the hairs. Honestly, I've just been watching a lot of Emily Kaiser videos on TikTok and she makes me want to do my hair more. The other day I actually did some uh, like half up, half down. Oh, I think you guys saw. I did like a half up, half down and that was definitely because of her. She kind of just inspires me to try different things with my hair. I'm such a hair down girly. Like as long as my hair's down, I'm happy. That's all I want. I just hate having my hair up because I don't think it flatters my face, but I'm leaving that in 2022, okay? It's the new year, I got a big face, it is what it is. I'm gonna embrace it, because I love the feeling of like slick back, nothing in your face. Clean girl aesthetic, love it. I think that's it, you guys. I ate the leftover blaze that I had, and it was super good. So I'm done with dinner. I'm gonna finish setting up this Wi-Fi. This freaking modem setup is taking forever. It's still not done. This whole time I've been recording, it's still trying to connect. But I'm gonna do that, edit this vlog to get it up. I wanna stay consistent, like I said, with videos. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe if you feel bad for me. <laughs> be trying to guilt trip you guys into subscribing. Content is gonna be pumping out. I have a lot of ideas and yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. -bye. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the day I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by